Annyeong Haseyo. Hi from the coastal city of Busan. It is Marine Week here in South Korea. The event gathers three maritime events. We will be focusing on MADEX 2017, the International Maritime Defense Industry Exhibition. 200 exhibitors from 26 countries are showcasing their latest naval defense technologies. I'm glad to uh, introduce two of our new designs to NavyRecognition.com. This is first of our uh, design, and we're uh, introducing this ship first time at MADEX 2017. This is our new mining ship. Uh, we delivered this vessel to Republic of Korea Navy this year. Uh, it's around, around 4,000 tons, and it has LOA of 114 meters. It has a uh, mine lane system as well as telescopic hangar and it also has room for VLS, vertical launching system and also it has primary gun, 76 meter meter gun and two RHIB capabilities. It has 3D, 3D search radar and it also has sonar HMS system. So it has capability as a mine lane ship as well as a surface combatant. Let me introduce you to our new training ship, which will be procured by the Republic of Korea Navy upcoming years. It's called HDT 5500. It's a training ship for Navy cadets for the Republic of Korea Navy. It's about 140 meters long and weighs 5,500 uh, 5, tons. It has two guns, one in the front and then one in the back. And it has dual compartments for all major systems such as combat control system or the lecture rooms or the engineering compartments as well. This ship will be mainly used for uh, crew training for Navy cadets uh, and it will tour around the world to uh, train Navy cadets in their third, third year of training. And crew complement around 150 and it also has room for Navy cadets as well. It also has uh, room for vertical launcher, but that's for future expansion. It's 140 meters long. Hyundai performance basic design, uh, and we finished our basic design last year, and this year we started on the detail design. This is the first batch of our next generation frigate. Six units have been delivered to the Republic of Korea Navy. It was designed, both basic design and detailed design was performed by Hyundai Heavy Industries. Uh, it, it's about 110 meters long and it's heavily armed with um, surface to surface missiles and primary gun, secondary gun, CIAWS. Three were delivered to Republic of Korea by Hyundai. This is second batch of new, the new FFX program. It's about 120 meters long. Uh, it's much more. It's much upgrade compared to the first batch with vertical launchers as well as uh, stealth design and also the code log configuration. Hyundai contracted to deliver two vessels to the Korean Republic of Korean Navy. The first ship is on in a test and trial. It's Daegu class. This is the third and last batch of the Republic of Korea FFX program. Uh, we call it FFX batch three. 
It's about 4,000 tons and it's about 120 meters long. It's a very much upgrade from batch two with this multi-function radar to be developed by Hanhua Systems. Uh, it also has much stealthier design with a lot of equipment inside the superstructure. It's still in the basic design uh, performed by Hyundai Heavy Industries, so a lot of equipment are still undecided. We are pleased to be at Madex for the second time in Korea, in Busan, and uh, we are proposing our decoy launcher system uh, for the Rock Navy, but also from other uh, partners uh, worldwide. Because as you know already, uh, Korean uh, shipbuildings and uh, Korean uh, combat system integrators are proposing their technology worldwide. Our Silena is uh, cutting edge technology. Uh, we are offering uh, system uh, launchers and also ammunition for anti-missiles and anti-torpedo. Uh, we are using uh, this technology already uh, uh, in France. Uh, some uh, customers in Middle East and also in uh, Southeast Asia. And we think that it's a solution for the new platforms uh, for the Rock Navy after uh, Dague. Uh, as you know already, uh, Lacroix is uh, uh, supplying the Dague ammunition for the past 25 years to the Rock Navy. And we think that uh, we offer the new protection for 21st century uh, for the Rock Navy. We can see that uh, uh, the KH-35 technology uh, from Russia or from China has been already uh, integrated uh, in uh, DPRK. This technology, uh, this film was uh, one year uh, ago and uh, they were addressing uh, capability of 130 uh, kilometers. Today they are able to deploy uh, this missile up to 200 kilometers. So it means that uh, the threats, proliferant threat is increasing in the region. And, uh, and of course, this uh, new type of missile has the capability to reject the conventional uh, decoy, basically uh, known as a shaft. Uh, Lacroix is offering uh, corner reflector technology, which is a state-of-the-art technology able to counter these missiles, which is already well known uh, from the Korean TV and from uh, uh, Korean authorities uh, such as uh, DAPA, Rock Navy or ADD. We have here today is we call integrated sensor mask. That's the uh, integration uh, and the combination of uh, MFR multifunction radar and IRST. That will be equipped in a next generation Korean frigate called uh, uh, Ulsan class Batch 3. This is the uh, middle way to go, I mean to reach IMAST. So um, this is the uh, simple combination with the uh, MFR and IRST, but we can enhance the maintainability and survivability but also we kept the uh, active uh, electric array radar, so which was developed by us, I mean, in-house for a KFX ASA program. So this is the cutting edge technology that we have. Just behind me is a we call IMOF, the integrated MOF. That's the uh, next generation from the, uh, I previously mentioned the uh, integrated uh, sensor MOF. So this is a new development of the uh, four Korean KDDX program. So we are still on the development phase, but the difference between the, uh, the previous one and this iMask is iMask is completely integrated mask. Previous one plus all the communication, including satellite communication, uh, integrated uh, communication antenna systems, and IFF as well. We're gonna in integrate uh, the IFF identification friend and foe, then the military satellite communication, and also the other HF and VHF communication system as well. IRST also will, uh, will be kept in the IMOS, but also the other EOTS, but we are still in the development phase, if, uh, based on the customer requirement. By the way, all the sensors will be uh, equip, uh, installed in that IMOS in the future in Korea. This is a tactical ship to land missile. So that means the, they can launch from the ship to the land target. Actually, we have a two kinds of the ship to the ship to land the missile. One is a slant type, the other one a vertical type. Slant type is already proven, so they installed already at the Korean Navy ship. 
The TSM, the technology is based on the SISTA shooting missile. This is a real scale model of the SISTA. This is a, the half, half size scale of the, the TSLM. The slant type is already finished and they, we are doing the mass production. The vertical type, will, the development is a, will finish this year. We're going to start the mass production from ne next year. This ship is an anti-ship, anti-missile. Actually, we were using the RAM, but we localized this missile recently. The, this missile launched from the vertical launcher. And normally, Korean frigate, the above the Korean frigate, the ships installed this missile from the battery tracer. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Sandy Hao and I'm part of the planning and control section of the Pungsan Busan plant. This is a naval ammunition um, called GGRM-5. Um, it stands for a gliding guided rocket munition. It's expected to have a greater effect on the long range um, precision attack in counter fire missions and landing operations. And the approximately the maximum range is 100 kilometers at the moment. We actually overlooked and we uh, forecasted the, plan, uh, the plans of the RK Navy in advance. So we started our R&D this year. We are expecting to test this ammunition um, next year, which is 2018. And we are presuming our mass production will begin in 2025.